Hey, what's up? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and in this quick video, I'm going to talk about the 24-hour El Cheapo paint job. Uh, something that I break down step-by-step step within the VIP training section of the website. And I'll be happy to share this with you guys uh, today. Uh, what I mean by the 24-hour paint job is, these are paint jobs that you put on cars quick. Okay, usually from 12 to 24 hours, the whole thing is done, completely done. Uh, you're ready to pull it out of your garage or spray booth or whatever and drive it home. Okay, and uh, with doing this 24 hour paint job, you usually, well, most of the time, this is the reason why it's a 24 hour paint job, uh, is because you're banging out the job. You know, you're doing a quick paint job on it that's going to look good uh, to sell it, to keep it. Uh, for a friend, uh, for a cheap job that you're doing, you know, 1500 bucks and under. And uh, you're using single stage paints, okay? This is why you could speed up the painting process, cutting it in half by doing only two to three coats of paint, uh, rather than two to three coats of base and two to three coats of clear. You know, it's double the time in the booth if you're doing a base coat clear coat paint job. Okay, so let's quickly run down the checklist if I miss something, I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize, but I just wrote this out quickly, and uh, we're gonna do the time frame stuff uh, live, no script, right on the spot right here. I didn't even think about it, but we're just gonna go through it as we uh, go through the checklist. So, uh, the first thing you're gonna need for the 24 hour paint job is your enamel paint kit. Okay, you're gonna need some type of enamel. You can do a synthetic enamel or an acrylic enamel, which is a little bit harder. You're gonna put a hardener in your mixture. Uh, it'll be a harder, longer lasting uh, your, uh, single stage paint, um, which is only gonna cost you about 50 bucks more, give or take, okay? So if you're doing a synthetic, I would say a synthetic or acrylic paint enamel kit, one gallon kit, enough to paint uh, a large car or truck uh, will run you about roughly on the high side, okay? Average is about a hundred bucks for the kit. High side, up to 150, okay? And that's cheap. That's pretty damn good, uh, getting a complete setup of enamel paint, okay? You're gonna need some sandpaper. Bondo, which is body filler, okay? Bondo is body filler. Let me get the black marker here so you can see a little better. Uh, sandpaper, Bondo body filler, if you're gonna be doing some minor dents, okay? If you got no dents, if you don't care about the dents, you're just gonna paint right over, you know, light dents or whatever, uh, it doesn't matter, okay? You're not gonna need any of this, but if, you, if you're saying, hey, let me just fill a couple of dents quick, uh, go ahead and mix up some Bondo, make sure your areas are sanded, your dented areas are sanded, fill, 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 go around the whole car, take you about 15, 20 minutes, uh, let that dry 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then hit it, go, go all around the car, take you another 30 minutes to flatten out all those areas, prime them quick uh, with, uh, I, I would do a 2K primer, not a lacquer primer, just to fill in your scratches. Uh, you go ahead and water sand it or DA it over with like a 280 or something like that. Uh, but what I recommend is uh, at least painting over a 280 grit or a 240 grit with enamel. Enamel is thick and uh, you don't have to go down to 400 grit uh, like base coat, clear coat to paint over, okay? So sandpaper, I would say 280. If you want to go finer, uh, 320 would be great uh, to paint over, all right? So you can get the DA, put some 320 grits on it uh, before you do your 280. If you have uh, peeling areas, you know, clear peeling off, fading on the top of the roofs or the hoods, just make sure you DA and you sand them all out, smoothing everything out, feathering it all out. Uh, and then I would put a light coat of primer on top of that and then maybe hit it with a quick water sand uh, 320 or even with a DA with 320. Uh, make sure it's dry, tack it all off, wax and grease, tack it all off and you're ready for spraying. Okay, I'm just running through this quick, uh, but we go more and more detail. We show you the whole thing live on video, exactly how to do a 24 hour paint job if you're interested in that uh, with the VIP course at LearnAllAboutBodyAndPaint.com is the VIP section. All right, uh, you need some masking paper and tape. Uh, I really recommend getting some, using some good quality tape. I like American tape. Uh, it's the brand, it's American brand tape. Flexible, if you leave it in the sun for a few hours or a day and you peel the tape off, you're not gonna have the glue stick to all your moldings and your glass and all that stuff. If you use the cheaper paints, cheaper tapes, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get all the glue stuck on it, you're gonna have a hard time taking it off and you're gonna lack of thinner. It's just a pain in the butt.